Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Count Christo and this is the Light of the East. Mayo and Taxes. It may have been mere week or whatever, five days since you last saw one of these videos, but for me, it's been like a month. <laughs> so it's been a while. I've had a change of heart since last time. We're going to use War Dynamism and we're going to use it a lot. And let me explain my reasoning. It's true, definitely true, that War Dynamism is unhistorical and a fundamentally bad game mechanic in almost all circumstances. There's a couple of circumstances where it's not, like maybe hordes, but hordes versus hordes, that is, but. And the reason it's a bad mechanic is because it's railroaded. It's not a mechanic, really. It's just a, it's kind of airdropped in to make certain nations act historically, or at least capable of acting historically, and I don't like that. But this campaign is really about building an Indian trade empire. So if we use a bunch of war dynamism to get control around this area, then it doesn't really matter because what we're trying to do is build an Indian trade empire. So I'm going to let myself use war dynamism. That's the long and the short of it. Let's unpause to give you a refresher of what's going on. We are engaged in the con conquest of Constantinople. Finally, we will take over the city of the world's desire, which fortunately we have managed to not province traumatize even a bit, or at least it may have already recovered. Does it still, I think the Theodosian walls did fall, right? They uh, they didn't pay the upkeep or whatever, and so they've crumbled, cool. Um, we are gonna take this basically as late as possible because just taking Constantinople caused 51 aggressive expansion, um, and we'd rather not have Venice and Genoa in this coalition, we can't really fight Venice plus Genoa just now. In other news, we are at 50% institutions, tech penalty, not taking tech, we can store tons more. And we're waiting to embrace banking. Banking is not out of reach. Um, we may stop paying the army. In fact, yes, I will do that. I'm gonna stop paying the army in order to try and get banking sooner. We have forts protecting us from stack wipes, so hopefully we won't have a repeat of last time. If they appear over here, I'll just flee over here. Apart from that, we're looking for a way to get to war with the Knights. Um, the Knights are allied to Venice, so obviously it's going to be a big war against them. I think what we'll probably do is just outcompete Venice on land and accept the fact that we're going to be blockaded, etc. While we're at war with them. That's just the way it's going to have to be. You just turn the music up on your end slightly. I want you to appreciate the beautiful Waldertoff and an m and Stephen Wright. Let's get some Stephen Wright, though. There we go. Listen to that. Great song. All right, with six in income a month, almost, we should be able to embrace this institution in no time flat. Sadly, because we're on 2.5 rather than uh, 3.0, uh, we don't start with meritocracy present in this region. Uh, they're giving back a bunch of uncored provinces. Wasn't that our ally? No. It's you, right? Yeah. No. Where the heck are these? That guy. I thought it was one of these nations, but... Is it you? No, it's still Clinton. I'm not sure. Hey, Torj. We're live on Twitch, by the way. YouTube. Mostly... Mostly YouTube-focused, but... Alright. Time ticking away. Bunch of cores coming in. And we've got it in Izmit and Chaldiki. And we're getting close. I think we're probably going to wait for it in Balu. The problem is that it's being slowed down because of the lack of burger control and the um, the lack of urban development in a lot of the provinces we want it to spread to. But it's going to save us a lot of money. Um, as you know, we lost a ton in that stack wipe that we could have done with earlier. And Bursa and Izmit. I think I got... Yeah, we got the warehouse in Izmit to get that urban growth going. What's the... Um, I can't remember. There's no, there's no like, um, population cap in 2.5, right? There's no need to upgrade town development in order to make it so that you're not wasting pop growth. Ooh, it has an estimated increase now. What is that? Over the next year, I guess. Very cool. That's new, I think. I mean, not that new because we've been on 2.5, 2.06 for a while, but. Hmm. Isn't there a soft cap? I think there's a soft cap in three, which is limited by your level of um, amenities. 
it trends, but I think in in um, in 2.5 it just trends towards your urban gravity. So right now, how do you see your urban gravity? We're basically just passing time while you know Constantinople gets sorted out. By the way, uh, how the heck do you see your urban gravity? Is it interact with province? I think you do it via this menu. Yeah, urban gravity is the point. Is the cap? Uh, urban population. No, that's not what I meant. Let me pause it. <clears throat> uh, province data. I should pause it so we can get these easier. Population data. Yeah, so urban saturation is high because we're, urban gravity is currently 86k and we actually have an urban population of 84k. So, but what my point is, you don't have to build more city halls to get more urban population. You can get... Um, Map modes from decisions? Yeah, you're right, you can do that, can't you? Thank you, thank you. What I mean is, building a warehouse, which increases the urban gravity and stuff, you don't then also have to build town development in order to like provide housing. Whereas in 3.0, just because you increase the number of people that you want in the city, like you increase the amount of jobs available in the city, you would have to also build housing. Um, but this, but yes, if you want more urban gravity, the town developments give a ton of it. My point is that urban gravity in 2.5, yeah, let me let me try and express it more plainly. In 2.5, urban gravity represents both the desire of people to live in the city and the capacity of the city to hold people, whereas in 3, those two things are much more realistically split out into two different uh, modifiers. Although possibly the, um, they, I think they feed into each other, like the capacity of, pe of the city to hold people might encourage urban growth as well. I see the way how you're doing. Justice fighter. I can say justice fighter, so I hope you won't be offended if I say that instead. <laughs> justice fighter has the the VIP flag being a uh, an MNT dev. We are losing innovativeness. So now, do I want to maintain my innovativeness by spending an e a waste of military points right now? I think the answer is yes. Um, I would like to keep that ticking in the right direction. <clears throat> Plus, having great military tech is useful. Does anyone in chat know if if the AI cares what military tech level you are? Oh, I forgot we're losing bur bur ah, burger loyalty every month. Got to keep an eye on that. They're super loyal though, so that's fine. Plus, the burgers are about to get Constantinople, which will make them all rich beyond their wildest dreams. But yeah, does anyone know if... Um, are we on unbalanced research? Unbalanced research, that isn't a thing in MNT, is it? I can't remember. No. Or would it be anyway? Isn't it when you get four away? I can't remember. God, it's been a while since I've played MNT. Uh, really not. As someone who's had to take on balance research. My last uh, vanilla campaign was, my last full one anyway, was Ulm, which was fun. I didn't do a world conquest, but I took, I, uh, I was trying to make myself both the Holy Roman Empire and the Emperor of China and a Republic. Dun, dun. Mm, it doesn't give you the modifier, but the AI still cares about it in, in MNT. Cool. Valachian. Sorry, Valachia has revoked the guarantee towards Vidin. Okay, that doesn't really matter. We broke our alliance with these guys lately. We still got a, a truce? We do, for a little bit. The problem is going to be... are they? They're, they're going to get pulled into this coalition, right? Almost certainly. Who is that? Tanavo? It's been changing recently. Yeah, so Tanavo is going to get thrown into this coalition against us. So what we should do, definitely, is declare war on them before or as we end this war. Uh, so that we can give a big truce to these guys and thereby keep them out of our coalition. And Moria, obviously, same same deal. Alright, it's been another another year. We're going to have to wait two more years for existing... Oh, hang on, I've, I've noticed a problem. Oh, uh, no, okay. Three more years. Nice, we made some converts. Three more years until we can take Constantinople without getting Genoa and Venice in a coalition against us. That'll be good. And then I think we'll be able to take like all of Sonavo with <laughs> War Dynamism, which if you've just joined in chat, I'm giving in. I'm allowing myself to use War Dynamism um, because... I want to I want to play with uh, Indian trade, not 
European and Anatolian conquests. Improve relations from the merchant. You, sir, are a goddamn genius. Don't you need 15% trade control or something? Uh, no, you actually don't. Okay. If I moved my merchant from probably here, from the Black Sea to Genoa. Oh, to have range. Okay, I'll collect in here. Sin from the Black Sea. First off, how much income do I lose? 6.35. And let's not wait on that trade screen because that slows it down. Can we actually go faster in Speed 4? Mm, doesn't seem faster, but anyway. What did I say it was? 6.83. I always forget the, the new mechanics. And by new mechanics, I mean things they added in 2018. Like, <laughs> improved relations from merchants. I always forget to change them. So we lose 0.4 ducats, which is probably worth it in order to do some um, improved relations. Because I think that improved relations bonus should get us over two, which means it's only two years now in order to get them below the minimum level of aggressive expansion. Or rather the maximum level once we take the, the province. <clears throat> so what was the second idea group we were going to take? Probably culture, right? It's kind of just got to be culture, hasn't it? Because culture is uh, it's just too good. If you take educated ruler when you're tech four, then it saves you something like 3,200 tech points. 3,200 3, um, monarch points of every category. And scientific encouragement is about half that. If you want to min-max that, the merchant only has to be there on the year-end tick. That's a good point. I'm definitely not going to do that. Still can't get your head around mail and taxes. Mail and taxes is not that complicated, to be real with you. Let's go to war with Tanavo now. Um, just so we have something to do, partly, and partly so that we uh, start getting some of this land earlier, some of this uh, trade control pulling some of that wealth down from the lower Danube. Yeah, I appreciate the tip too, Roger, about the only thing to be there on the Yili tip. We're definitely not going to do that. <clears throat> it's been a fun series so far. I um, haven't played it for a while just because I haven't felt the EU4 itch. I've been playing some other games. But uh, bro, I'm back. I'm back. Yes, yeah, so we're not making progress in a couple of our cores. Yeah, it's a good point. I should check on my my cores. Like you, you have way too much unrest. What's going on there? Ah, a bit of religious really tension. They'll calm down. What about down here? At war with the Romans, so couldn't core it anyway. At war with the Romans, so couldn't core it anyway. Cool. No big deal. We'll get some Baelic land cord. That'll help. Oh, I forgot manpower was so bad right now. Hey, nobles. You got any manpower for me? They do. Amazing. Should be keeping a closer eye on that. Lessers. Have. Oh, I really don't want to give them money, but I really don't want them to demand favors. I mean, demand privileges. Corruption is ticking down, but not very fast. Usually where to locate the information. That's very fair. Mm, I would really like... Oh, we will definitely give them a decade of foreign rule. I basically always do that because we can we can just crush autonomy in our capital, I think. Yeah, down 0.25 a month. That's madness. I'm fine with giving the burgers more, more wealth, making them happy. I think we... I honestly think we give them the gift. It feels so backwards because we're trying to save for this... Um, Privilege, but we need the estates up and around 50% at least, so. What I like about MNT is you always need more money. Yeah, money is way, way, way more powerful in MNT than it is in vanilla, which is a very good change because, um, like, sure, the, the ability of the administration to to wield its power and its, you know, the diplomatic core and all that was super important in, in national development and all that stuff, but the, um, you know, Wealth. Wealth is the uh, the great power provider. In uh, I mean, not necessarily just money, because obviously it's like control of land and stuff, but abstracting it to money is fine. So we've got these orthodox zealots, which are going to rise up. I'd really rather they didn't. How long is this going to last? Only oh, till October. We're, we're probably fine then. Why is this game running so slowly? Let me let me close a ton of tabs. It may very briefly pay, play audio as I cycle through these tabs I'm closing. Oh, I've got Eve open. Okay, close that. 
we close I've already paused it but we close the miner <laughs> close close pigeon uh, don't quit steam that'll quit the game okay cool good that should speed it up <laughs> yes I had two EVE online windows open <laughs> that's not a great idea <clears throat> It's still not barely ticking. Come on. Yes, that will tank performance. Unsurprisingly. It's an offer we can definitely refuse. I think on this monthly tick we go to war. I saw, I saw. What's up? Well, we're waiting for aggressive expansion so we can take Constantinople. And we're going to go to war with uh, the shattered remains of the Bulgarian Empire, basically. That's the plan, anyway. If I go quiet for a bunch of times, it's going to keep having to mute because my throat is already not great. Mm. Let me see, do I have any throat sweets on my desk? I do. We will persevere. <clears throat> what kind of monster refunds a, a, a birthday gift? Yeah, so Gandalf keeps sending me Persona 4 <laughs> as a gift and I keep sending it back <laughs> on Steam. You send it to me like three times now, Gandalf. I don't want it. <laughs> send it to someone who wants it. Okay. Ticking down. Yeah. Okay. Ready for this war? Ha! The only coalition against Hungary. That's funny. Um, 13,000 should be easily enough to win this, I think. Because it's not even going to help them. Poor suckers. We will declare with the Soldier of Rum for an easy province to take. We gain piety because it's glorious in the eyes of Allah, which is great stuff. We are still in negative piety, of course. Um, we do have our other god generals. Look at these freaking generals, by the way. Absolute madness. I'm gonna storm straight to the capital. <clears throat> what are we looking at before estate levies? Well, there's quite a few of them. We'll have to play it carefully, but our amazing generals are gonna uh, make short work of them, I think. Let's detach here and see if we can go. Excuse me, hello. Oh, it's the monthly tick. It's happening. Can you be a country against? Can you be in a coalition against two countries? No. No, it is limited. Such so you can only be in a coalition against one country at a time. Which is what makes coalitions a bit of a joke in multiplayer, like AI coalitions. Because I'm just gonna wait for these guys to movement lock and then get them. Oh, missed them. Okay, I'll wait for the movement lock again. Got some of them there. You've movement locks, so we'll just grab them. We want to wipe out their estate levies as they raise. Um, because if they can marshal all their estate levies together into one place, we will begin to have problems, because there's a ton of uh, little, little itty-bitty AIs fighting against us. There's our cash. Question of booze. Three-year religious controversy. Lower trade efficiency, but more tolerance. I will ban it. I will ban alcohol because we want the. Um, we really want the. Uh, uh, the piety. So. Keep sieging down all these faultless provinces. We're getting war dynamism for this? I can't remember. Doesn't it? Some, I don't remember if it applies on the t monthly tick or whatever. Or the yearly tick. Um. Even if we're not getting more dinosaurs, this war's still great because we're just gonna, you know, get some loot. Not much because we're heavily restricting looting, but um, we'll, we'll, we'll milk them for some cash. And mostly it's just to keep them out of the coalition. Because you never want to fight a coalition war. Almost never. It's, uh, it's pretty much universally a terrible idea because coalitions are just much harder to fight than normal wars. Does Sunni still have the piety effect slider from vanilla? All religions have the piety effect slider from vanilla, uh, except the effects are different, basically. Um, and there's a ton more things. I mean, it's not the piety effect slider from vanilla. A ton more things go into it than the piety effect sliders from vanilla. But all religions have the piety slider, yeah. Are you getting onto a boat? They are. What are you doing? What are you, what are you going over here for? <laughs> well, we'll chase them. I like that... Uh, if it didn't, didn't join, that's helpful. Was it Vidin that was going to join? Was it Kosovo? I can't remember. Someone over here was going to join. So, yeah, I mean, 
Hungary Poland is going to be a real challenge, but that almost always breaks up. I think it's like historically triggered to uh, to break up. How's the music balance, by the way, chat? Should I uh, should I increase the volume of the music a bit? I love the sound of the my own voice, and if you're watching, I have to assume you kind of do too. So I tend to keep it a bit low. It's fine. Much louder. I'll make it a touch louder. Nice converted ismit. Let's get another conversion going. Is that not overwhelming? Cool. All right, you coming in here. So I was playing D and D the other day and uh, tried to play some music, and I was like, "Oh, that's funny. There's something wrong with the uh, the music player. This sounds really weird <laughs> and really loud." And I realized that I was playing every track on the playlist simultaneously. And it was like 60 day, 60 different songs. <laughs> it was, uh, oh, hey, nice, improved relations. It was, um, it was somewhat overwhelming. <laughs> like hundreds of different ambient, ambient um, Skyrim and Oblivion songs playing simultaneously was, uh, it was an interesting experience. Oh, hello. Trebizond showed up for a pointless siege. They can never win, but they will cause province trauma by doing it, I think. Let's rally up. Peace out, Byzantium. I think next year. Yeah, next year. In 1392, the Ottoman Sultanate will do what so many had tried to do. So I was reading about um, the Empire of Nikea. Nikea? Nicaea? No, Nicaea. Um, which was the one of these rump states established out of the Byzantine Empire after it was crushed by the Fourth Crusade, Fifth Crusade, forgive me, I can't remember. The one that established the Latin Empire. And um, I have previously said that the Fifth Crusade, whichever it was, represents the end of the Roman Empire. And a commenter was saying that um, Nicaea, or whatever, whatever it is, Council of Nicaea, is it Nicaea? <laughs> was, um, was a legitimate successor state. <clears throat> they have another nine, five thousand guys? That's not good. We actually need to crush this guy, crush these guys. Not you. But, uh, I think maybe the Emperor of Nicaea is a legitimate successor because they had the same emperor. What I hadn't realized was that the, the emperor crowned in Constantinople fled to Nicaea. Fourth one, thank you. Um, <clears throat> I hadn't appreciated that. And that does lend a lot of legitimacy to them being the continuation of the Roman Empire. However, the Byzantine, you know, Roman Empire, who went to Nicaea, was crowned later. Hang on, if we... We're going to potentially sacrifice some of these guys in order to maybe blockade these guys on this side of the strait. Yeah, good. Um... He was crowned first as the Roman Empire Emperor, but then later he was crowned as the Emperor of Nicaea. And crowning someone as the Emperor of Nicaea strikes me as admitting that their previous title no longer exists. Because how can you you can't be the Emperor of Nicaea and the Emperor of um, Rome? There would be no need to do to do so. Because why would that? Why have an Empire of Nicaea title if the Empire of the of the Romans title still exists? See what I mean? So I think by being crowned as the Emperor of Nicaea, he basically admitted that the Empire of the Romans no longer existed. Byzantines were just Roman larpers. Now this this is the worst take. <laughs> I'm assuming that everyone involved in this conversation has already reached the true conclusion that. The, uh, the Roman Empire split into two halves and then one half of this con continued and still deserves to be called the Roman Empire. You have to have got to that stage for this argument to be coherent at all. And it's true, so. <laughs> We're going to Bursa. That strikes me as an incredibly bad idea. <clears throat> the Ottomans were the rightful Holy Roman Empires, not just the successors to Rome. But, uh, holy Roman emperors. <laughs> that's, a, uh, that's a hot take I haven't heard before. Byzantines aren't even real. Well, I mean, yeah, it's a, a word exclusively used later on. 
They weren't, they, they just called themselves Romans. And were Romans. If, uh... <clears throat> if England got, it's got, like, if the UK got split into two parts, both called, you know, like, called, like, East UK and West UK, and then East UK got destroyed, it wouldn't matter. It would still be the UK. The Byzantines, on the other hand, look. Look. Pronunciation is not my strong suit. We know this. It is known. Do, do, do. At least the HRE had Rome. Did the HRE have Rome at all, apart from like for a year with Barbarossa? I don't think the HRE had Rome. And having Rome doesn't matter. Just because you start somewhere doesn't mean that's where you have to stay forever. Do, do, do. <clears throat> okay. Had Rome for quite a while, did it? After Barbarossa. For how long? Is that when you mean, by the way, with Barbarossa? Or do you mean right at the beginning? It had Rome right at the beginning, right? I think. Um, like when it was the, the kind of the first Holy Roman Empire, as it were. When it was the, uh, <clears throat> when it was like all of France and all, most of Germany and all of Italy. They might have had everything north of Naples to Sicily's. Yeah, they did, like, at the very start. But that only lasted, like, the, the first Holy Roman, the first Holy Roman Empire only lasted, like, one generation, didn't it? And then it broke up again and then got reformed later on. Pretty sure. I think that's right. So we are going to have the manpower to win this war. And we're about to piece out the uh, Romans. Although, of course, we're the Ottomans, so they're the fake Romans, and we're the good Romans. <clears throat> right at the start under Otto. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, we can now take this. We will not get a coalition with um, two scary people in it. This could be terrible. I'm going to cancel some of their cause on my provinces for no particular reason. The prestige. Whew. This might cause a coalition which ends the run, but who cares, man? Oh, I should say before we do a big peace deal because it sometimes crashes. They had Rome from 962 to 1141. I didn't realize the first Roman Empire, the first Holy Roman Empire lasted that long. Okay, well, good to know. The more you learn, make Constantinople capital. Wait, did I already make my capital here? No. We have to be at peace for this, right? Yeah, we're going to wait to be at peace so that we can get the 50 stability points uh, and move the capital to Heravos and then immediately do this to move the, the capital to Constantinople. Oh, and we can rebuild the Theodosian walls. I didn't know that. Cool. Well, we'll definitely do that at some point. And yeah, minarets on the Hagia Sophia. Wait, does that actually do anything? It's already a great mosque. What does that do? Uh, oh, and we complete mission. Istanbul, tolerance of the faith. Sure. Good stuff. Let's see if a coalition immediately forms. And we have partial, excuse me. Yeah, okay, full control over the Bosphorus Strait now. Nice. Let's see if we can get these guys to push off. We will keep a capital here. <clears throat> 1181. Sorry, did I say 14? <laughs> Let's say 1481. The fate of the Patriarchate. Um, I think we will appoint a loyal Patriarchate to lower our separatism. Because we can always close it down later. And get the cash. Yeah, like now, for example. Having already got the extra, the reduction. I think I'm going to close down the Patriarchate. And I'm going to use the money to invent banking. <laughs> Nice. Is there anywhere? There's nowhere like, okay, Bursa is at 74, 75%.
How much money am I am I wasting by not waiting for Bursa? 41 ducats. And Bursa's going to be done in... Uh, in like two years. Yeah, I'll wait for Bursa. Because I don't want to waste that much money. Is there anyone else that's really close? Anywhere else, rather? Doesn't look like it. I think we will wait for Bursa, though. 40 ducats is a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Uh, and we're not... We don't desperately need the tech. You get some legitimacy and prestige for the minarets. Okay, definitely not doing that for a while, then. Thank you for the heads up. Okay, and we're going to retreat from this as soon as we can. Uh, not having any losses. I think we inflicted one casualty. On the monthly tick here. You'll get a tiny bit of stability. Okay, that's not worth it. Thanks for the uh, for letting me know what it gives us, though. Okay, we can start coring Tyre now, because we're no longer at war with them. These guys are annoying. Oh, hello. Quickly poke out and, and wipe them out. Once we've got this siege done, we'll be able to clear out some of these guys. And if we get that siege done, we can just piece out Dobrozhja. We'll build the minarets, obviously. Why don't... Yeah, it's a good idea. We will build the minarets with the first bit of Indian gold that we get. That seems uh, that seems like that would be fun, because then we can we can make the the idea being that we're like putting the uh, putting the finishing touches on using imported gold from India. That seems fun. Okay, if we could win a siege, that would be good. Largest city on the subcontinent. There we go. Okay, we'll swing south. Excuse me. Thank you. Wipe these guys out. Wipe these guys out. Queen of the people. 90 ducats for one less unrest. No thanks. I'll just take the, the uh, legitimacy, I think. Oh, yeah. Defeat the Byzantine Empire is going to keep our legitimacy nice and high. Who should we be spying on? <clears throat> Probably you. you barely got any forts, though. If I declare on you, the Mamluks will definitely defend you. So that was unfortunate. Probably fight spy on Venice. Is Tunis happy with this? Let's top off relations with Tunis. That'll do. Keep the other guy, yeah. Uh, the other guy spare. Too many military leaders? What? Oh, because our power prediction is too low. Uh, we've got rivals. We've got Hungary, and we'll have to set another one. We'll have to see what we can do about power projection. No unrest in here anymore, right? Oh, there is still four unrest. You can't lower enough. In which case, I won't worry about rushing south too quickly. Doo, doo, doo. How can you run from there to there faster than I can get from here to here? All right, well, we'll wait for them to, to movement lock and then... Really? You're going to flee because one guy's going here? How about if I do this? What are you doing, man? <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, if they're going to wait there while these guys come in, I'm going to... Send them in like so. And that should be fine. I'm going to try lowering my voice. See if that helps my throat anymore. We are losing manpower pretty quickly. Let's uh, pull out these cavalry to go and get some more sieges done while that... Sorry, get some more uh, like occupations done while that siege finishes. Okay, okay. Easy win there, obviously. We will split out. We don't want to take any unnecessary attrition. Definitely not going to be able to take Moria in this war, so I'm not going to bother going and sieging them. Let's come push these guys out down here. Okay. Seems good. Our court level has finally increased. Call the Mamluks in. I don't think that'll be necessary. Uh-oh. A plague out of Cologne. Pillars of smoke. Plague will soon be upon us. Right, can't search for it because it's got a little umlaut. Uh, can't, oh right, can't, also can't search for it because I think we don't know about it. <laughs> I think we've never heard of, of that place. So do we want to take any plague measures? Um, we could close the ports. Or try to close the ports. Um... Which reduces the effect of it spreading via ports. But it's just, it's we're going to get it. We're going to get it. We can't afford um, plague doctors, which will actually help. I mean, we could literally afford it, to be fair. 
Oh, it actually says how much it reduces it by. We can't afford it. We need to invent banks. So we can't afford to help against the plague. It's serious, serious capitalist hours going on here. Court level has given us another diplomat. Could spy on Hungary, but I mean, until their Poland thing breaks, we're just doomed. Um, Won't we'll be thinking of allying with Naples at some point? Yeah, let's keep the relations with Naples topped off. The worse the play is now, the weaker it will be in the future. That's a very good point. We can build up some immunity by letting it ravage us now. But, you know, <clears throat> all stories say this plague is a dire one, full of unholy strength. Oh, God. We're going to lose a bunch of stability in all likelihood here. But that's okay. We can get it back. We've had, we've had a good, you know, it's been stable times. Didn't know there's immunity system? Yeah, it's really cool. That's why the plagues ravage the new world, I think, because they start off with no immunity. Do, 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 do. All right, there goes Varna. Victory at Varna, very, uh, very on brand. <clears throat> okay. Do, 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 do. Province gained. Oh, so there is some, uh, some more dynamism going on here. We are going to go with these for the reasons explained earlier. Are we getting more dynamics on this whole country? Yes, okay. Uh, it will obviously cost us some points to grab them, but that's fine. We're going to get some slightly odd borders at the end of this war, huh? Do, 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 do. So, so we, will, we will then siege down the whole enemy country so we can uh, try and get the most out of it. How did you get away? Oh, he went off the boat straight. Bring him back up north. Win a couple of easy fights. The game seems to be running really badly today. I wonder why. Oh, they actually have negative immunity in the new world. Okay. Not sure that makes a lot of sense <laughs> from like a scientific perspective, but... Alright, we've got this plague, and yeah, it's a terrible plague. We could still spend to reduce it, but because stability and stuff early game is more important because it's about getting the snowball rolling and you don't want anything to slow you down, but I think we're just going to weather the plague. We're just going to weather the plague and see how things go. Um, probably going to lose some stability, but we don't want to go to three stability anyway because it's just inefficient. And we're at, you know, we're at 265 stability points right now, so... If we're going to lose some stability, we want to lose it now. Because it's such a waste to go to 3 stability. Because you have to spend 300 points for something that you could be getting for 100 when you're down at 0. Do -do. <clears throat> so I don't know... Um, Justice Fighter, do you know where the Ottomans could get war dynamism on? I think it's like their historical European borders. We've already lost 5% of the population, and it's only infected... Oh, I had, okay, infected concepts over. That makes a lot of sense then. Yeah, 25% chance of stability, but we're not going to lose it. I mean, come on. Yeah, that would just be unfair. But it hasn't even spread to the capital yet. Do, do, do. Do. Excuse me, hello. Yes, monthly tick process, I know. Justice Fighter, is, is 3.0 running faster than um, 2.5 right now? It kind of feels like it is. I forgot we're out of manpower. We can't leave just enough uh, just enough men to carry out sieges. Have to leave some excess. Okay, nice. Bunch of cores. It's going to help with manpower. Uh, down here, still got six unrest now. Does plagues increase unrest? That strikes me as unlikely. I would have thought a plague would reduce the level of unrest. Don't you think, chat? I wouldn't want to go and rebel if I had a plague. To be honest, no. It's already grown too much. Yeah, fair enough. 
Uh, poor government policies. Damn. Oh, no. Good. We can just lose some prestige. So the enhancements have been lost in... Uh... Does it run more consistently? Because that's the main problem with the performance in, in 2.5. It's not. It doesn't really matter that it's not running quickly. It's just that it runs so inconsistently that it's a bit annoying. Okay, grabbing some more provinces. We could add all this to a trade company, but... And yeah, we're getting hit pretty damn hard because of all our cities, but look at that. Our European enemies in Italy are uh, getting absolutely ravished. The exact opposite. All the lag is concentrated in one day. One day a year or one day a month? One day a year, that's fine. The rest of the year is smooth? Oh, that's 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 amazing. That's a fantastic change. Please, that, we're not going to lose it on 10%. We'll lose it on 20. Fudge! All right, so we're going to get that stability back almost immediately, which is problematic because um, we'd rather spend our stability going from 0 to 1 than two to than 1 to 2. Better than having it spread out? Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. I mean, you just, you know, you turn to another screen or something. It doesn't matter if it's concentrated. It's just, it's, it's the, the, the problem with the lag in 2.5 is the input lag, meaning that you have to, but you can't just play. You have to, like, stop and wait so regularly because at the, in the final day of the month, it gets so, so, um, you, know, you can't issue orders. So we're going to get this, this, this. We're going to get like all of this, but not this province, obviously. And then, I mean, maybe we do take the capitals and the peace deal just because the border course is going to be out of control otherwise. We're growing, we're growing. And we're going to get banking in Bursa soon. And we're going to get these guys to drill. Do we have any men? There's still 5,000 against us, but that's not enough. Let's let's not drill. Let's just make a little bit of money, because we're pretty low on cash right now. The overextension from Constantinople is substantial. We're looking at 9% um, from Constantinople, but as soon as this war's over... Alright, come on. Don't let me lose another stability. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So on January... I can't remember when the stability tick is... It's the, I think it's the 6th of January, the stability tick. Because stability doesn't, you know, we have enough points to go to two stability right now. But um, it only updates your stability when this, the number of stability points you have changes. So if you grant a privilege, a favor, or, you know, an event, whatever. Or the stability, yearly stability calculation tick. Um, yes, I will, I will kick out the heathens and get myself a proper temple. There we go, whatever, 15th, not 6th. So that's really unfortunate. We spent 200 points to go from, um, sorry, it's 150, but we spent 200 points to go from one to two rather than 150, but that's okay. We're gonna get a bunch of stability from moving the capital here and then here. Not sure why moving the capital gains you stability. That seems a little, <laughs> a little unrealistic. Seems like a destabilizing moment, but we're not gonna complain. We're taking what we can get on the gaminess front this, uh, this campaign. I should probably, I insult you. Can I get 10 uh, power projection? Why do I get zero power projection because of scornful in, in, uh, insult? Anyway, I'll take the uh, five power projection there. And yeah, they're still way off from being in the coalition. So the coalition is not too bad. It's just a bunch of titchy guys, basically, that surround us that we're going to gobble up soon anyway. Interesting. They've moved 6,000 men to here. Well, let's, let's go attack them there so we can join up with this fleet, even if it's just a transport. And yeah, we're just waiting for the war dynamism on here, 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 and here. And we are going to hand them all over to Sunni priests, and then we're going to be ready for... Uh, did get some unrest now, which is unfortunate, but... Communication efficiency is going to be tough up here. We're going to need probably a central road like this. It's all flatlands, so that's a nice place to build a road. They are big provinces, though, which makes the road expensive. Uh, and we'll probably also want a nice port here and then some road connections from there. Um, but it'll be okay. Okay, retreat from that. Kill one of them, didn't lose any ships. It's what you like to see. And we can unify up our navy. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to immediately, I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to appoint a loyal patriarch and then probably just seize all their assets almost immediately anyway. Can you decision-based close down patriarchs, by the way? 
No. But you effectively can, because when you force heretics to convert, which obviously, you know, has a bunch of other impacts and requirements, the Patriarch complains, and then you can shut him down at that point. Plus, he'll probably complain anyway, just because you know how Patriarchs are. Always whining. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. God, the burgers are so happy about getting Constantinople. We should definitely demand support from them. Yeah, give me give me some money, burgers. How's the plague going? Looks like it's spread all it's going to spread, so we shouldn't lose too much. I think plague deaths in 2.5 are calculated upon arrival in a province rather than in like an ongoing basis. I could be wrong, but... Hey, Greater Nobles, I got some cash for you from the burgers. Wow, look at that. The burgers are up to 17% influence, up from like 5 at the beginning of the episode. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. And now we're keeping all the estates pretty sweet. Tribals are still so low we can't interact with. We can core Constantinople already, but obviously we're not going to do that. Because we can get it done free via decisions. Excellent, excellent. This is going to be a productive episode. Just a few more provinces on the war dynamism, which we're just waiting for it to fire now. There's no no green time, sorry, no blue timer, which means it's just just a matter of time. Hey, Moria, do you just want out of this so you can stop blockading me? It doesn't look like it, sadly, sadly. Do, 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 do. Should we actually have more cash than we need for the institution? We could spend some of it, we could build a building. What would we want to build? Because Constantinople got a warehouse. It doesn't. Let's save for a warehouse. It doesn't have a town hall. <laughs> Man, we damaged Constantinople quite a bit, huh? Yeah, we need to get a town hall in Constantinople pronto. And uh, a corporation guild. What was this? this one's up to 40k, right? Yeah, for 40k urban population. What have you got now, actually? 70. Yes, yeah, so we really need a corporation guild. And corporation guild is actually the priority. Because we're going to make a bunch of money off all the silk. What were, we gonna, what were we building? I think we were going towards silk, weren't we? As our, as our good. Truce with Valachia and a din. I don't want to declare another war right now. I also don't want a coalition. We're going to risk it. We're going to not declare a war. Because I need to get to peace to move the capital to get the stability points. Moving it to Herobos so we can then move it to Constantinople. And again get the stability points. Just waiting on that war dynamism. Embrace for the production efficiency? Embrace what, sorry? Oh, embrace the the institution. Yeah, but 10% production efficiency for like the next year is not worth spending 35 ducats to get it in Bursa. Uh, crusade against the Ottoman. Come for me. Come for me. We will fight you at Varna. We will annihilate you. Am I right about that, by the way? Surely our production income each year is... Yeah, our production income each year is only uh, 96 ducats. So 10% of that is only you know, 9.6, not 35. Uh, good, right, here we go. Kick him out. Bunch more cash. In fact, that's so much cash that I think we can now afford the... Corporation Guild? No, not quite. Getting there, though. Yeah, a couple of Corporation Guilds would be really nice. Getting those centers of production bumping. We've got 60k here. But that's gonna be obviously going to go up dramatically. When the, uh, there's one of them. It's going to go up dramatically once the plague ends. Because the plague killed a ton of people. The plague track is integrated now, right? I can't how I see that. I think the plague tracker was built in these days. No? Could be wrong. Cool. What's our air like? Are we happy with our air right now? It's 444. Four, four. Low Diplo rep, that's fine. He's pretty good. Yeah, he'll do, he'll do. Okay, just one last province, just Dobrogia itself. Hey, Dobrogia, give me Dobrogia. It's via the bureaucracy estate. Yeah, that's where I went, but... Is it then a state to the realm? Assessing the estates of the Ottoman. No. How about stability and national quality? Plague Tracker, there it is. So, deaths in the Northern German Disastrous Plague of 1392. There have been 30,000 rural pop deaths and 5,000 urban pop deaths. Is that it? That seems low. 
when it says death count in thousands and then it says 30,000. <laughs> I assume that doesn't mean 30 million. <laughs> this is not a death count in thousands. This is a death count. This is just an absolute death count. Like, of thousands of deaths. <laughs> like, what is th this? This is not well written. <laughs> Five, five thousand five hundred and fifty-three thousand. <laughs> that's not right. I, I, I strongly suspect that's not right. <laughs> that would be pretty funny though. If in 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 thirty ninety three we'd somehow lost thirty million rural pops. Give me the province. I want to move the capital. Corruption is growing. It's probably the increasing power of the burgers. I guess. That's probably worldwide. Mmm, interesting theory. I had assumed it was only referring to my country. That's worldwide. Ah, okay. Well, that's not very useful. I need to know what plagues do to my country. I don't care what they do to China. No offense, China. I mean, I might care if like I was next to China, but I don't I certainly don't care about worldwide. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of a a cool to see, like it's it's interesting to see that there's been uh, you know X number of deaths and see how they change over time. But it'd be pretty terrible if a country lost thirty million rural people to disease today. Nothing your ass off, yeah. Topical, topical. Give me the province, Dobrogia. It's only a matter of time. Why isn't the mean time to happen on all dynamism one day? You have a timer already. Why build in a timer and then the mean time to happen of like six months? Justice Vida, fix it. <laughs> there it goes. Thank you, Justice Vida. <laughs> okay, so question is, do we do this? For another 50 aggressive expansion, no. Do we do this? This puts Genoa in, but not Venice. I'd really rather not have Genoa join. <laughs> no problem. I would like this province, but I think I think we don't want the co we really don't want the coalition. It's going to be a, it's going to be a, a period of peace. So we'll take the trade power instead. You war reps, trade power and ducats. Nice. And now we're finally at peace. <laughs> I think uh, this might be bugged. Yeah, tick. It wasn't going to give us minus three. The uh, aggressive expansion mission is going down by like two point something. 2.8. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so there's a bug at the moment. Uh, I think this bug's been around for a while. When the tribes, when you promise the tribes extra loot and you take only a tenth, they're like, oh, you didn't give me enough. I'm going to lose 30 loyalty. <laughs> But if I take two fifths, they lose seven thousand five hundred and seventy-four loyalty. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> seven thousand three hundred and fifty-five. Oh, we can we can get two hundred less loyalty lost if we just take a fifth. So obviously we're going to take uh, a tenth, and the tribes will go to zero loyalty. And that's fine. The states have suffered serious casualties. No, they haven't. Oh, because we didn't replenish them. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Okay, so we're at peace. That's really annoying though, because that's really peeved off our, uh, our greater and lesser nobles. That's fine. We'll let them uh, let them recover for a while. Uh, so it is time, not quite time to embrace banking, but it is time to move the capital to Romella, which gives us 50 stability points for 100 admin points, which is well worth it. And then immediately move it to Constantinople. 100 admin points for another 50, but we lose 10 years of separatism. We convert half the people to Sunni Islam, and we lose uh, local authority. We also gain 10 absolutism, which we actually don't have room for, um, which is annoying. What about, I mean, we could like, <laughs> we could immediately take an idea group that gives us absolutism room. <laughs> Isn't there one? Yeah, we could immediately take empire ideas and then try and fill it out, but. It seems like a wasteful, a wasteful idea. We don't want that yet anyway. Constantinople is the capital. And it is called, and it is wonderful. And we complete a mission by doing that apparently. Centralization efforts. 
have an episode system at least 50? What? Oh, because we have a capital building now. We can get 50 admin power. Cool, so we get a discount on that. Centralize the tax system. Gives us 953. Okay, yes, please. I am the state. We're not going to get a corruption below 5%. Not for a heck of a long time. Okay, cool. And now we're going to wait another six months or so to get Bursa. And then we're going to finally do tech. Cool, and we can now do some more coring. Hello. Oh, it's the monthly tech. Of course. And we've got to core most places there. That's pretty nice. Uh, looking at... Well, why can't I core this one? Oh, they still have martial... Why do we have martial law here? They're not... Oh, right, because you can get all the problems at the same time. Of course, of course. And then here we have just a tiny bit of unrest. So let's have these guys suppress it. And then we should be able to call that. Superb. Coring it all up. Uh, our trade income is uh, still lower than it was. Plague has killed a lot of people, unsurprisingly. There's that core. Earlier is it two? You guys can do 2.18. So close. You guys are very, very unhappy with me. So you guys can stop suppressing unrest. And we will stop paying the army. But we will take a naval doctrine. Um... I'm tempted to take free oarsmen, honestly. I think it's not worth spending 100 ducats on our navy right now, because our navy is just not good enough, but we'll do that later. Nice. Relocate the Venice merchant. Good point. We do want to get A even further down, though. Now, I'm going to leave him there, because I think Venice and Genoa and AE is the limiting factor for our expansion, even, like, in Anatolia right now. That's the limiting factor on our expansion. So, I'm going to leave him. And then you guys, I really want to give favors to just as soon as we can because they're so unhappy. But as the plague ends, they should get richer and then trend up. Did you just say Valakia has just rivaled me? Are you stupid? We are, we'll counter rival Valakia for sure. And then, like, immediately declare war on them. No, we have no manpower. Once the manpower comes back, we'll declare war on them. That seems really stupid. I'm definitely going to do a show strength war against Valakia. Can you take land via uh, war dynamism in a show strength war? That'd be even more broken. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. Oh, it's my birthday yesterday, so I'm a little bit tired. Oh. Alright, so we'll spy on them. Anything else we want to do? Not really. Just get that, uh, we're going to get this banking, and I think I'm going to end the episode. Building Constantinople, it's a good point, it's a good point. We want the Corp Guild, I think. I think, I, I mean, for me, my priorities for a, for, a, for a building are, if you need more universities, get more universities. If you need, and then if you're doing like communication efficiency stuff, prioritize that, so docs and things. And then it's just about making sure you have as many people working in production as possible and that can mean increasing the population if you're already below the if your population is below the cap or it means building guilds and right now we only need going to need 300 and something ducats so we can actually get a corporation guild here and here because we have we're below the cap we're at 67,000 but that's going to come back up so we're going to build a corporation guild in both provinces thank you for the reminder Tiraj uh, that's going to make us a huge amount of money in the long run, just a huge amount of money. I mean, already in Constantinople, we're making uh, six, 4.86 a year in urban production. That's really nice. Plus, you get all the trade that comes out of it. Like, the trade value in Constantinople is probably... Um, a lot of that is Constantinople. Mm, it's actually not mostly Constantinople, probably because of the... Um, fact that we got hit by that plague much harder than uh, this place did so their their leather production is is bumping we really want to take that the arenids are like the main threat now in anatolia obviously uh, with their their canic vassal we'll see come on now i believe in you 97.84 percent 
Give me that banking. Yeah, the plague really wrecked us a lot harder than uh, a bunch of our neighbours. The coring is going to really help with our income. We're losing uh, 84 ducats a year in tax right now. We could be making an extra 7 ducats a month from tax. Holy heck. We're going to be so wealthy. Once all these calls are done, it's going to be amazing. I'm just going to sit down. There's going to be a weird whirring noise while my desk does its thing. Ugh, give me a minute here. Love the standing desk, by the way. It's a very good purchase if you can uh, if you can afford one, if you spend a lot of time at your desk, which I think you probably will. At least the plague made the coring cheaper. Yeah, that's a good point. Finally, the plague has ended. We are safe for now. What time is it? It's one o'clock. I think what I'm going to do after this episode, so once we get banking, is um, I'm going to take a break from the stream, uh, have lunch, and then come back and do some more. Give my throat a minute to uh, to recharge. Because I'm really looking forward to the influx of wealth we're going to get once all this stuff's cored. We're really going to start bumping out of control. Restart the game in the meanwhile. You think it might be something to do with like the game state that's slowing it down? Okay. Yeah, I'll try it. I'm, I'm, I'm always up to try that. When in doubt, restart the device. Sharia law. Well, we're still not fanatic, despite my best efforts. So, I think we're going to go with a, uh, a liberal Sharia law for this for this time. Should be fine. All right, come on, banking. I can't remember when you pay. You don't pay like no. You don't pay proportional to how much it's spread in a province. That would make too much sense. Cool. And Bolo is still way too low. Yeah. So, this month, we are going to invent banking. Fantastic. It's present in Bursa, which means we get a hefty discount. Excuse me? It's the same number. <laughs> Why is that the same number? I'm going to wait for the monthly tick. I, am I crazy, or is that the same number? Also, I guess embracing institutions... It's pronounced Persa? Oh, that's interesting. I'm not going to remember that. <laughs> the plague makes has made it cheaper for us to embrace this. Well, we are going to embrace it. Lovely. Now only a 20% penalty, which means we can take pull taxes and get the idea. Oh, nice. Expansion capacity up. 12%? 12, 7, 8, 7, 13, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Who wrote this? Oh, just person banking, right? <laughs> Who, who picked these numbers? What were, how much weed have they smoken? What, what are these numbers? Well, I mean, they're good for us, so I won't complain too much. Now, we're not going to take any more tech before we take culture ideas, because we're probably going to say, wait till I take educated, I mean, we've been maxing a bit here, but I think we're going to take educated ruler before I take more admin tech. Well... No, let's just take it now. We don't need to be maxed too, too much. It's going to help with our overextension taking it early, so. All right, excellent. Now with, and let's just, I mean, there's other stuff in culture to, to relish. 5% national tax is great. Total art power uh, up 15% and civil art academy and opera house is so nice. Global institution spread is great. Idea cost is great. Idea cost, by the way, 1% of idea cost is equivalent to 0.5% of educated ruler in terms of the total cost over the uh, over the campaign. We've spreadsheeted it out. Um, educated court is great for culture co for that cost down. Embracing cost down, eh, it's, le it's less important. Prestige gate, meh, it's kind of useless, but... That's yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, cool. Well, I'm going to call it an episode there. Very successful. We've yoinked Bulgaria. And we've taken uh, Constantinople. Our overextension is going down. Our income is going up. We are recovering nicely from the plague. And we're getting some fantastic new production buildings built in the trio of shining cities that we will build on the Bosphorus. Thank you very much for watching. Stream, I may or may not return later on, depending on how my throat recovers. May, may just play other stuff. Do some more streaming tomorrow, maybe. Thank you, YouTube. See you next time.